In this episode, I'm going to take a look back at the last two years that I've been blogging with my silo laundry room. Today's its two year anniversary, so stick around. everybody and welcome back to my side of the laundry room like i said in the intro right now this very second my side of the laundry room is celebrating its two-year anniversary my where has the time gone and did i ever think i'd be popping up on youtube hell no that was never on my radar but because of starting the blog i emerged from my introverted shell a beautiful butterfly ready to show the world just how fucking dorky i am but anyway two years ago i just got done watching the ewoks movies with my daughter and i wanted to talk about them now i always enjoyed writing i always wanted to find an outlet to start writing again in one way shape or form and of course when you think like well i guess i'll have to write a book or something and it's like, but I just want to talk about how much I like toys and cartoons and who the hell is going to want to read that book. And that's when I discovered the world of blogging. And I jumped in with both feet and it's now become a part of my life, part of my family's life. Um, and I love it. I mean, first off, with saying that, that I love it, I want to thank everybody for being so supportive. Uh, all the subscribers, all the followers, all the people on WordPress where the blog is found, all the people on YouTube, all the people on Twitter, all the people in the universe that have tuned in, read, or commented, liked, whatever. Not liked. I mean, I even thank you people. Don't like the stuff. You have an opinion. That means you watched it. And uh, that's awesome. I'm happy about that. Thank you. So, thanks haters. Thanks lovers. Thanks everybody. Back to the story. Got done watching the Ewoks movies with my daughter. And the movies... In my mind, I always thought Battle for Endor was this far superior movie. Because they killed off this stupid family... There were guns and monsters and more aliens and, you know, those are the memories that I had of it. And I never thought once that the first movie was even that good. I mean, that might have been the case when I was a kid. But, going back and rewatching them, I saw what a beautiful movie the first one actually was. And how it was narrated and it had magic and the ewok adventuring party it's a beautiful movie so i wanted to write about that i i did write about it but i never posted it because i've never finished it i think last i checked it has 2000 word count and i'm probably a third of the way done so i kind of stopped and said you know what if I want to do this blogging thing, I can't be hung up on just one article. So, the first thing I wrote about, I mean, my first post, which would be on the 18th of February 2016, was just a, hey, welcome, this is me. I have a picture of my side laundry room that doesn't look anything like it does now, um, as I look around, because now... I guess since the name is on it, I'm allowed to put more stuff out. I think my wife's a little bit more lenient on it now. But the next couple days, I kind of agonized, well, what am I going to write? What am I going to write? And then Disney's uh, Peach Dragon trailer came out. That was something I had something to say about. I thought it looked awesome. And I have watched the movie since, and I loved it. But that was my first real gig at internet journalism or whatever the fuck you want to call it and I loved it after that 
things started coming naturally. Like, I was just driving to work one day, and I'm like, man, Presto Magic, I remember them. I love them. I haven't read anything or heard about them in years. So I did a little research and wrote a thing about Presto Magic. And from there, that kind of set the stage of where I went. You know, it was a lot of movie trailer, movie talk, and vintage toy talk. I've kind of expanded, of course. I mean, I'm doing this, and when Chris is here, I mean, our topics range from this, that, and everything. But the website's also, well, blog. I always just say website, because in my mind, blog has this negative tone of just emo kids crying about how bad their day is because that's when when they started that was the only exposure I had bad on me but anyways um it's been a great adventure so far um I have a million and one ideas I see there being no end in sight I hope the world grows with me as I say that as followers and things I mean but at the end of the day, I guess, it just makes me happy. Um, unfortunately, just with how life is, I haven't had the opportunities to write as much as I've wanted to. Excuse me. But I've told myself that I want to have a weekly schedule with this YouTube show, so that kind of forces me to work on this in a positive way. But... Sometimes my writing is spotty, and that makes me sad at times, because I wish... It's like right now, in my saved folder, I have like 20 things I'm in the middle of. And I always get an idea of, hey, I want to work on something else. And I rarely find time to go back and finish the ones that I've started. But, I mean, hopefully, now that I'm putting myself out on blast, I will go back and start working on them. I mean, I have everything from... Uh, Toys I Wish I Had Movie Edition, and those are uh, toys that were seen in movies that were awesome that, of course, I never had. And anyone that's read the, that series of uh, posts that I do, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of toys I missed out on. Uh, but that's just parents in that time period. But anyways, um, so I just wanted to celebrate Yay! Two years of my side of the laundry room and say thank you to everybody. Another great thing about this adventure that I've been on is sharing it with people. My family's been super supportive. My kids get excited that, you know, I'm out there and doing things and I can pull up YouTube. And that's one of those silly things too that what if one day I'm not there anymore? My kids have somewhat of a catalog of who I am to look back at I know it's a little uh, morose but that's one of the things that go through my mind too to my writing and these videos and probably not my tweets they're kind of yeah but anyway <clears throat> sharing this adventure with people uh, again my family's super awesome about it but all the people that I've never met physically, but have shared a connection with online. That's an awesome thing. And like I said, you know, I've come out of this introverted shell where I would get the cold sweats even typing a blog post to, oh, I like this person, what they wrote about, but I don't want to leave a comment because I'm too scared. I finally did one day, and from that, have met people, um, share common bonds with them through toys and comics and movies, what have you. And a lot. Maybe it's silly nowadays to say, but, you know, I count some of them as really close friends just because if I'm having a off day, I can just hit them up on an instant message like, hey dude, what you up to? And just have a little conversation that's enough to just say hey today's not that shitty um so thank you to all those people and i want to give a big thank you to chris um of course he wasn't able to show up this weekend because we got a freak snowstorm that 
blanketed everything one night and friggin' gone the next because it warmed up. But anyway, I just want to say a thank you to him because without him, I wouldn't be doing this YouTube thing because, again, the common theme, I'm friggin' scared of everything. So I kept saying, you know, that would be cool to do, but I think I kind of need somebody to play off of, to have conversation with. And he's like, I'll do it. Fuck it. And it was that simple. He helped, you know, hook me up with the camera and everything. And been history ever since. It's been awesome. It's been great. And it's cool just to have, like, a set schedule to, like, just chill out with a homie and talk about shit that we loved. And I've gotten to know his childhood probably a little bit more than I ever knew. Because we met in high school, so... In high school, you're never going to sit there and go, Hey, man, what, what what was it like when you were five? You know, but things like that just happen in our conversations, and I think that's cool, too. So, a big thank you to him. And again, thank you for everybody that's been super supportive. Thanks to my family. And keep liking, keep hating. Just keep it up. Thank you. Um, I wish this video could be longer. I mean, I could... I was just in the mood to talk tonight, but like I said, it's a Sunday night, even though I have off tomorrow for President's Day, I still gotta get my daughter on the bus and all that stuff, so I can't be up too late, sorry, no party animal in me anymore, but anyway, enough of that shit, thank you, have a good night, keep reading, keep watching, keep being rad, and stay dorky, thank you, thank you, thank you, peace.